So a while ago, I did a video showing you how to create an event in your Google Calendar without leaving your Gmail. However, it's recently been brought to my attention that the option's no longer there for you to do that. Well, it turns out that Google have made a couple of changes regarding this, and the option is actually still there, it's just been moved, that's all. So in this video, I'll be showing you where to find it, along with another new feature that's now available on all free accounts. So let's get started. So to find the create an event option from the old video, click reply on, on an email and then click on the three dots at the bottom here. And you've now got the option to set up a time to meet and you've got offer times that you're free and create an event. So if we click on create an event, this opens up your calendar in the side panel over here on the right hand side and you can choose the date and the time for the event. So we'll just quickly choose an option here. And you'll notice at the bottom, there is a section for the details of the event, which you can expand by clicking on this arrow here. So the email subject becomes the title of the event here, which you can easily change if you want to. And the recipients of the email are added as calendar guests to that event. So all you have to do is change the date and time to match what's been agreed. If you want to go back to the calendar at any time, either click again on the arrow here, at the top or click on find a time and then once you're happy with everything just click save and choose whether or not you want to send invites to the guests and that's it job done so the second option is to choose times that you're actually available so again we click on reply to the email click on the three dots at the bottom of the email click on set up a time to meet and then click on offer times that you're free so this opens up your calendar in the side panel for you to choose the times that you're actually available. So if we just quickly choose a few times here. And the duration of these time slots is set as 30 minutes. If you want to change that, then you can simply click on this box here and choose a different time. If you want to extend the period of time that you're available on any slot, then simply click and drag over here on the right hand side of the slot click and drag it down a bit longer and you can see because it's 30 minute slots this is now available for an hour so it's given me two available time slots if you want to remove any of the times completely then click on the cross that appears when you hover over it you can then click through to different days and select any times for whatever day that you're available and then once you're happy with everything click on next at the bottom here and you've now got the option of giving it a title. So instead of where it says, let's meet, you can put whatever you want in there. You can also change the event duration here as well if you've not changed it before. This will then list all the dates that you've given as being available. You can add more dates if you want to. You can remove any here as well. And you have a section at the bottom here for more details. So if you click on there and you can add how you want to meet. So you've got the option of Google Meet, meeting in person, a phone call, or you can just leave it blank to be updated later. So once you're happy with everything, click add to email and you can see that it's now listed the times that you've put down as being available within the actual email itself. So if you click send, and this is the email that the recipient receives, they can simply click on any time that they're free, put in their details to confirm that it's correct, click on confirm, and then all parties will receive a calendar confirmation email of the meeting. And that's it, job done.